dear students i hope you all are fine and utilizing this time for your betterment children today we are going to study our lesson number 11 teeth beaks and claws but before i start i request you all to open page number 74 of your evs book and be ready to study the lesson in our previous lesson we have studied about our tongue and teeth and in this lesson we are going to study about the teeth beaks and claws of animals and birds at the end of the lesson you will know more about teeth of animals beaks of birds types of beaks feet and claws of birds children have you ever thought that why are the teeth of animals different from human beings do animals brush their teeth or how birds eat how they move from one place to another let us start our lesson to get the answer of these interesting questions teeth of animals just like human beings animals have different types of teeth different animals eat different kinds of food depending on the type of food they eat they have different types of teeth teeth of herbivores animals that eat grass and leaves are called herbivores animals like cow goat horse sheep have sharp incisors in the front part of their mouth they help them to bite grass and leaves from plants their back teeth are flat and broad which help them to chew and grind the food teeth of carnivores animals that eat flesh are called carnivores animals like lion tiger dog and cat have sharp canines that they use for tearing meat canines are long and pointed The molars of carnivores are also sharp and used for slicing. Carnivorous animals swallow their food in whole chunks. Teeth of omnivores. Omnivores eat both plants and animals. Omnivores have different types of teeth for eating different kinds of food. These animals have canines and incisors to rip and cut food into smaller bits. They have flat molars at the back of their mouth to grind the food. Bear, chimpanzee have this type of teeth. Now we are going to discuss about the beaks of birds. Birds do not have teeth. they have beaks which help them to eat food they also use it for cleaning and scratching their bodies cleaning and smoothing of feathers with beaks is called preening apart from feeding beaks have many other functions birds use their beaks for moving objects killing prey fighting with each other searching for food making their nests and feeding their young ones moreover just like we use our mouth birds use their beaks to communicate types of beaks now we are going to discuss about the different types of beaks of birds and their uses for that particular bird Different birds have different types of beaks depending on the kind of food they eat. Short, hard and strong beaks. Birds such as sparrows and pigeons have short, hard and strong beaks. 
Their beaks help them to crack open and crush their food. Such beaks are also known as crushing beaks. Sharp and curved beaks. Parrots have sharp, curved and pointed beaks to crack nuts, hard seeds and fruits. Sharp and hooked beaks. Flesh-eating birds like eagles and vultures have sharp and hooked beaks, which help them to tear their prey into smaller parts. Such type of beaks are known as piercing and tearing beaks. Broad and flat beaks. Water birds such as ducks and geese have broad and flat beaks which is known as shifting beaks. These beaks help them to dig in muddy water. There are holes on either side of the beaks. The holes help the water to flow out while keeping the insects and worms in the beak. Chisel shaped beaks. Hoopoes and woodpeckers have such type of beaks. These beaks help them to poke holes in hard tree trunk to make nests and to dig out insects for food. These are also known as chiseling beaks. Long, narrow and pointed beaks. Hummingbirds and sunbirds have long, narrow and pointed beaks. Such beaks are also known as Proving beaks as they help birds to suck the nectar from flowers. Long, broad and pointed beaks. Water birds like cranes, strokes, herons have long, broad and pointed beaks to catch fish. Long and slender beaks. Penguins have a long and slender beak. It is quite sharp and helps them to catch their prey even under water. Fit and claws of birds. Birds have different types of claws that perform different functions. Birds use their feet and claws to walk, climb, hold their food, swim, and perch on trees. Claws have long curved nails which are used for self-defense. The shape of a bird's feet and claws depends on their food habits and the way they move around. Children, now we are going to discuss in detail about the different feet and claws of birds. Wading birds. Cranes, herons and strokes have long legs with spread out toes that help them to walk in muddy and shallow water without sinking. Birds that swim have three toes in front and one small toe at the back. The toes are joined by flaps called webs. The webbed feet act like oars. They help the birds to paddle through water. Ducks and swans have webbed feet. Climbing birds. Woodpeckers and parrots are climbing birds. They have two toes in front pointing upward and two at the back pointing downwards. These type of claws help them to hold, climb and cling to trees. The front toes help them to hold fruits to eat. Perching birds Crows, sparrows, minas are perching birds. They have three toes in front and one at the back. 
they use the front toes like fingers and the back toe like our thumb their toes go round a branch to grip it firmly this type of claws help them to hold the branches firmly and sleep even while they are perched on a tree running birds birds like the ostrich have long powerful bare legs and strong feet with two sharp claws on each foot they use their legs for defense their legs are very strong and are adapted to run fast the ostrich is the only two-toed bird scratching birds birds like hens pheasant find their food on the ground they scratch the ground to eat insects and seeds their sharp and hard claws with three toes in the front and a short hind toe higher up the leg help them to dig flesh eating birds eagles hawks and vultures eat or hunt other animals they need sharp hooked claws to catch their prey their sharp hooked claws are called talons they use their talons to grip and carry small animals i hope children you have understood the lesson now there is two activity for you first you have to observe any five birds and note down the type of beaks and claws they have second write any two difference between the teeth of human being and animals you have to write this in your rough copy thank you students